Hi, I'm Chris James and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today we're going to be looking at is there a difference between water weight and fat? Briefly guys, I just want to say if you guys are interested in seeing all of my videos and knowing exactly when they release, make sure that you're hitting that notification bell down there or down there. Uh, it's going to be right next to, to the subscribe button on the video and that will just let you know, hey, I released a video and that way you guys can help support the channel and also you won't miss out on any of the great content. I usually upload videos on Sunday, usually around noon time, so it's not like I'm going to spam your notification inbox. Alright guys, thanks. All right guys, so in a previous video, John and I talked about calories in and calories out. Basically, does it work? How does it work? Why doesn't it work? And we just kind of went into a little bit of detail about that whole diet plan. And I figured to kind of back up that video and just, it kind of correlates with that video, we're gonna talk about what water weight is. Now I get a lot of questions and, and you know, some people are asking me, what is water weight? Some people are asking, uh, do you lose a lot of water weight when you fast? And there's a, there's a wide variety of different questions surrounding this topic of water weight. So I just wanted to kind of clear the air a little bit and talk about what water weight actually is. Like we mentioned in the previous video, fat is a cell, right? And I don't know if you guys know this, but you don't actually like burn fat cells. Fat cells never go away. They just expand depending on you know, your level of toxicity in the body. When we're talking about losing water weight, what we're actually talking about is losing fat. It's the same thing. So when you look at the structure of a, of a fat cell, you have a lot of water in there along with the diluted toxins that the fat is storing or protecting you from. And I'm sure there's other things that go into the fat cell, but when you say, hey, am I losing you know, water weight when I'm fasting for two or three days? Well, the answer is yes, but I think that our conception about what water weight is is wrong. So I've had the opportunity to see a lot of really long-term fasting, anywhere from you know, one day all the way up to 40 days. And we can only claim that it's a false weight that we're losing for so long before we have to kind of revisit this and, and maybe even redefine what water weight is. I know that when I started fasting and when John very first started fasting, there was a lot of people telling us that we were only losing water weight. At the time, we had a decent understanding of how the fat cells worked, but I didn't really know 100%. So it took us, you know, doing a lot of fasting ourselves, eating again, seeing the differences in our weight, and then also looking at and monitoring other people to really have a solid conclusion to this question. So back to what we're talking about. Yes, you're gonna lose water weight, but water weight is fat. So as your body starts to detoxify and it starts to release the toxins, the fat cells no longer need the water to store the toxins in. It's just a buffer, that's all it really is doing. So as you detox, you're releasing these toxins. And of course, we spoke about this before, you can release toxins through the breath, which actually you release a lot of your fat through breath. And if you ever were to collect your breath, you could see how much toxicity is in your breath, as well as even trace amounts of water, right? And uh, this is what's happening. You're breathing a lot of your fat out. And you, I think you urinate out something like 10%, it's a very small amount. And that's really where your fat goes. Now, um, I would also like to add that some of the fat goes to your liver as well in the form of toxins. So as the body's releasing the toxins, the liver starts purifying the blood. So some of it's gonna come out in your intestines as well, but the mass majority actually comes out in your breath. And that's why when you're fasting, it's so important to sleep. We have kind of forgotten how to breathe properly when we're awake and when we're conscious. And also your body uh, goes into a state of shallow breathing because of the toxic air around us. So when we sleep, we breathe more naturally, which is going to be when you're gonna see most of your weight loss. That's why you can go to sleep and be 200 pounds and then wake up, you know, the next morning and be 198 pounds, you know? So, so sleep is very important 
and that's really where the weight is going, okay? So I hope this video cleared things up. I really don't have a ton more to say about this. It's very simple. As a matter of fact, everything that we are learning about the body is much more simplistic than what we originally thought. And I think that's good because we can all have a very good understanding of the body, how it works without overcomplicating things. So just to, to kind of recap, fat is a cell that shrinks. Uh, it's full of water and toxins, obviously diluted toxins. So when you're fasting, yes, you are losing water weight, but water weight is real fat. Now, when you go to start eating again, because there's two different types of fats, you have white adipose tissue and brown adipose tissue, if you're gonna be eating the proper things when you do refeed, yes, you are going to gain some of the weight back, right? But there's no way that you're gaining back five pounds like five real pounds in five days just from eating. So what's happening? Well, when you're fasting for a long time, your body starts shutting down some of the processes, some of the fluids that are being manufactured. When you start eating, those processes start back up. You know, the bile starts to, to uh, be produced more readily, your stomach acid and other fluids. So of course you're gonna gain weight. That just kind of makes sense. So don't freak out about it. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. If you want to, feel free to leave some comments down there. Ask me more questions. If you guys need any more follow-up information, make sure to check out the Facebook group. If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I'll see you guys next time.